as a leader, do you need a coach? Does coaching really improve a leader's performance and increase the bottom line? Is it a cost or an investment? Hello, this is Pierre Bienvenue from IMPI. We are here to help remove anxiety from leadership as they gain greater clarity and control. Within Walking Distance is a series giving tips, tools and reflections for leadership. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the links relevant to this video that you will find in the description box below. MP. So let's answer the question. Should you choose to be coached? Richard Teller, winner of the Nobel Prize of Economics, in a 2020 podcast with Michael Lewis, observed that the richest and best performing people in the world received the most coaching. He was citing Roger Federer, one of the greatest athletes in the world, having 10 coaches. Actually, I checked that he had five in his team, including his wife. That's much more than the average ATP player anyway. Meryl Streep is a three-time Academy Award winner. She has an acting director and a voice coach. You would think she doesn't really need any coaching, right? Taller says that coaching is one of the factors that contributes to making the rich richer. The Uber driver doesn't get coached. Coaching provides an unfair advantage. Now, in this episode, the context for coaching is leadership and business coaching. All these successful business people have been or are being coached. Steve Jobs, Apple, Eric Schmidt, Google, Oprah Winfrey, Richard Branson, Virgin Group, Mark Benioff, Salesforce, Jeff Bezos, Amazon, Bill Gates, and Satya Nadella, Microsoft, um, Alan Mulally, Ford, Jim Young Kim, World Bank, Jeff Weiner, LinkedIn, Cheryl Sandberg, Facebook, Roger Enrico, Pepsi and DreamWorks, etc. How is coaching helping them up their game? Coaches have an outsider's perspective. This allows them to literally see things you can't see. And because they are not part of your organization, the relationship is less transactional. So you can open up more easily than with other colleagues or subordinates. It's lonely at the top. In the life of an executive, there are sensitive issues that are hard to discuss with colleagues, work contact, family or friends. Who do you turn to for support? Take, for example, hiring and firing people. This requires a level of confidentiality and objectivity. The coach can often provide the appropriate perspective and alternate viewpoints. As the relationship develops between the leader and their coach with a good tempo of sessions, accountability and trust grow. The leader becomes more reflective and honest. Personal growth happens. Work life and personal life are more balanced. You are investing in yourself. You become a better leader. So, do you think coaching is a luxury? And this is the good quote for this episode. Bill Gates said, Everyone needs a coach. We all need people that give us feedback. That's how we improve. Isn't this beautiful? If you are one of the first three people able to name the mountain in this view, you can meet with me for a free hour of leadership coaching. Just write the location in the comment section and send me an email at wwd at imp.solutions. Also, you may have a need to improve on your leadership skills. Turn them into good habits, or you need support to transform your organization. I can help you. Feel free to connect. I'll be posting the next episode in two weeks. In the meantime, lead well.